Quickly before we start the video, I'd just like to say be sure to hit that sub button if you enjoy my content and also the notification button to stay updated on my latest uploads. Yo, what is up guys? My name is Steven and welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video today. Today, we are going to be attempting to drop to Goblin Stadium. We're probably not going to get there though, but still, we're going to get pretty far down. And as soon as we stop dropping, I'm going to go in two battles with an all legendary deck on whatever arena we get into and try to get a funny reaction out of my opponents. We're using all legendaries except the Sparky and Lava Hound because you can only hold eight troops in your deck. But I will put them in the next video, I swear. We're going to be in Goblin Stadium the next time we're using all legendaries. So it's going to be all legendaries versus Arena 1. And Jungle Arena is going to be released in a few days. So I am going to be pushing back up just to get those cards. Um, the Dark Goblin is going to be coming out soon. So I definitely want that too. But still, it's going to be pretty hilarious when I end up three crowning people with all legendaries in goblin stadium so guys before we start the all legendary battle i'm just going to show you a few clips i did have when i was dropping and a kind of a funny goblin barrel troll clip i did when i was in builders workshop And I also wanted to show you a quick little replay. I also versed down in these low arenas. And this one was in Builder's Workshop. So this guy thought it was all good with his giant graveyard Mega Minion deck. And he thought he was going to beat me even though um, I tried to Goblin Barrel, Double Goblin Barrel, and um, I guess Clone spell him. I was going to let him win, but the way he just laughed at me after that kind of pissed me off. So I just decided to fuck him up and take the three crown so before i was gonna let him win i'm letting him pull all those skeletons towards my tower and just take the one crown right there and i know this goblin barrel thing it's, isn't gonna three crown him but he's obviously gonna fireball it but the way he just taunted me after that kind of you know triggered me or tilted me right there but still it was pretty funny to see his reaction after i just pulled a rocket on his tower and completely annihilated it after that so here comes the dual goblin barrels close spells down He's wondering what to do. Here comes the fireball, taking all those out. He gives me a laughing face. Thinks he, he thinks he can win right here. He fucking thinks he can win. Really? All right, we'll see about that. Rocket's ready, and the zap spell is next. So I'm just gonna deploy a rocket straight at your tower. Let's see what happens. All right, 580 HP. Let's see, it's 39 HP right now. I think a zap spell can three crown you. And now I'm just gonna wait until he deploys his scar me. He's gonna give me a wow right there. He thinks he can still win with his skeleton army. But nope, right as it hits 350 HP. There we go. Zap taking the three crown right there. Where you are. 
So this is what you guys wanted to see. All legendaries versus Arena 4. We're not going to get to Goblin Stadium today, but still, we are still going to be able to test out an all legendary deck against our Arena 4 victims. I mean opponents, but still, it's going to be pretty hilarious to see these guys' reactions once they get versed with a full-on all-legendary deck. So it's definitely gonna be pretty funny. Who we got first? We got Yasu Go Monk from uh, True Power. And we already started out with the Graveyard Princess Inferno Dragon. So the Inferno Dragon, it should be able to one crown him instantly. And then we can just finish him off with the rest of our arsenal right here. So let's see. Um, we're actually gonna wait until he drops something. Then I can just counter it and go for an immediate counter push. Um, I don't know, is he AFK or something? I don't really know what's going on, but he should be dropping something right now. I'm going to give him a thumbs up. Let's see. Okay, nope. We'll just start with the Inferno Dragon in the back and see how he reacts to that. Um, I don't think he's even going to counter this shit, dude. I think he actually gave up at this point. I mean, he just realized I'm a level 11 with all legendaries and he just fucking left because I'm that good. Okay, so it looks like the Inferno Dragon is actually going to reach the tower. I'm going to give him a wow. Give him a crying face because he's not showing us any resistance whatsoever. I kind of wanted this guy to put up a fight. But nope, he's just going to give up instantly right when he saw my level. That's pretty sad. I actually try to beat people who are higher level than me. I mean, I beat a level 13 once actually. Um, and he was actually trying, but he just gemmed and had like literally no skill. And there we go. Opponent left the match. All legendaries. Damn. Okay, the first battle was pretty funny. He just left the match straight away just because he saw our level. But let's see if the next person actually puts up some resistance against our all legendary deck. We got a level 5 Morgoth from the Royals VZ, whatever that is. But still, I'm gonna give him a good game. Good luck right here. We already started out with the Ice Wizard. We got the Graveyard, we got the Princess, we got the Inferno Dragon. Let's see what we can do with this, guys. Um, we're gonna start the Princess in the back. Um, let's see OP actually drop some shit to defend against our massive troop legendary deck right here. So Lumberjack's gonna go down soon. Just gonna tank for all that. We're gonna also gonna drop the Miner on his tower, I guess. And that's gonna do a lot. I mean, the miner is pretty much a knight at his level, which you can deploy anywhere on the field because, you know, a knight, I, I think a level 5 knight, it's only, um, it has the same HP as a miner, is what I'm trying to say, which is pretty OP. And look at that ice wizard, it's doing so much damage to that baby dragon compared to how much damage it would do to the baby dragon in, I guess, legendary arena where everybody has tournament level standard cards. But still, we already two crown this guy. Give him a thumbs up right here. We got this. We got the three crown guys. Electro wizard coming down the lane. I'm gonna shock that tower for a bit. And here we go. The princess is gonna take some more chip damage off of that. We just need one more single push to get him. I think we'll just drop the graveyard or lumberjack or something like that. He's gonna drop a giant right there. Only level four. Now watch how fast the lumberjack takes down the giant with the tower's help. Like it's melting that giant like it's nothing. The giant has an HP of the hog rider in these low arenas. I swear. It's so fucking hilarious just bringing all legendaries to arena four and trolling everybody with them. And there we go guys. We just took the three crown once again. So if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more like this, be sure to smack that like button down below. The new episode of me dropping all the way to Goblin Stadium should be coming out soon, so be sure to stick around for that. And I'll see you guys in the next Clash Royale video.